Now, uh, spikes. Let's talk about spikes. Technique 999. So, it's often the case that we're talking about a story and it looks like it might be a little bit challenging. And someone, usually a developer, says, let's split out a spike. Let's spike this. Uh, which um, usually, uh, and the concept of that is, I don't want to deliver working software with a spike. I want to deliver knowledge. I want to understand a bit more about this problem. So maybe we can estimate it better, or we can choose how to do it. We've got a couple of options on the table. Um, now, there are some pitfalls, though. My experience with spikes is it is sometimes the case that we forget to define the objectives of the spike very clearly. And we also sometimes forget to time box the spike. So you then end up with um, unstructured developer playtime, I, like, I like to call this. So it's like a developer saying, yeah, go and spend an unspecified amount of time on an unspecified thing. Have fun. Uh, and usually every day at the stand-up, they go, how's that spike going? Yeah, 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 it's kind of, yeah, it's getting there. And it's, it's almost done. It's 80% done. Uh, and it just goes on for days and sometimes weeks. I've had spikes that have just gone on for weeks. Um, and then you get to the end of them, and the, the thing that's being delivered isn't necessarily really what you're after anyway. So I'm not against spikes, but what I prefer to try and do is, is put context around the spike. So rather than saying, yeah, just go play with that thing, I'll say, OK, let's look at the vertical slice of actual real functionality that if you were to attempt to deliver that, uh, that would deliver the knowledge, first of all, but it would also give us some nice, clear, focused boundaries on the scope of the spike, uh, and also might deliver some working software, some actual value as well. Um, so, and here's the gag. Uh, and my mother always told me, be careful with spikes. Jeez, you're a hard crowd. <laughs> and that's why it's technique 999 as well. You see, what I've done there is 999 is at the bottom of the list of, of, of numbers. It's not actually, there are numbers bigger than 999, but it's certainly bigger than seven. And also, it's the number you call if you have an accident with a spike. So, uh, in conclusion, then, um, we've talked about why you would um, uh, split stories. Getting stories small enough is only part of the story. Splitting out low-value stories, that's the big benefit for me, okay? Uh, when, just in time, how, uh, vertically, as we've talked about, iteratively, so keep doing it again and again, and keep splitting out the low-value stuff. Um, until you know you can't you can't do it anymore. Um, decomposing user goals down into smaller and smaller bits, um, and uh, keeping keeping really focused on value. So um, just constantly saying, is that th is that thing going to be valuable? Is that thing going to be valuable? Let's do that thing because that's going to be really valuable. Okay, um, and a variety of techniques as we've talked about uh, in the in the right order, which means not not that there is a right order, but you get the idea. Some some apply higher level, some uh, uh, lower level. And, and that's it. That is it. So